Welcome to this week's video. It is a hair tutorial by request. A lot of you have been asking for a blowout with this cut and style, and in particular, getting a lot of volume at the root area. Also, a lot of you ask me, what is that haircut? What's the name of it? To best describe this, it is really a pixie bob. So what's the difference between a pixie and a pixie bob? Has to do with the angle of the cut. So as I pull everything straight down, you will see that this haircut is done primarily in a bob. So you've got the longer pieces up front and then it angles toward the side, kind of in a graduation with a lot of texture and then the back is a little bit choppier. So having a pixie bob gives you more options as opposed to just a straight on pixie because of the length. I mean, you can definitely push it all forward like so. You can do what I do a lot, which is tuck it behind one ear and then get some height here and let this front part come forward. Or you can take pomade and totally slick the hair back and get it off of your face. And a true pixie would be more of this, but with these shorter hairs kind of up front, possibly dipping forward. These would be short and tucked. So that's more of a traditional pixie type of a look, but that really helps to differentiate between the two. In the meantime, this hair is dirty and it needs to get washed. What I'm going to do is use my favorite shampoo for blonde hair and conditioner. It's Fanola No Yellow Shampoo Conditioner, 100% vegan. The color is violet. Don't let it scare you, but what it does is it helps to cut the yellow in blonde hair, which happens over time just from the minerals in the water, products that we use, and overall fading. So this really helps to brighten. And if you like that ashy blonde that's very popular right now, it will also bring you more to that ashy, almost grayish beige tone, depending on how much you use and how long you let it stay in the hair. So I'm going to hit the shower and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do a full on blowout. Freshly out of the shower with a little bit of makeup applied, let's get started. I'm going to use as a leave-in treatment a product by Olaplex number no. 7. It's their bonding oil. It is good for all hair types, fine, straight, wavy, curly. It's a heat protector, it's a color protector, and it's just a wonderful product as a leave-in before you do your blowout. So I take a few drops rub it between the palm of my hand and I really concentrate kind of on these front areas that need a little bit more protection. It's where the highlighting is heavier and of course where there tends to be more breakage around the face, right? A little bit more. I'm not going to use a volumizing mousse or anything like that. I find that when hair is short, you have to be really careful with those products because it can get too bendy and rounded looking at the scalp, which is kind of an outdated look. We really want to get the hair kind of flat, sleek and smooth. Plus I've got a technique for creating lift right here at the front part of the root. I'll show you that in just a bit. So there are two different brushes that I'm going to use. One of them is GSQ by Glam Squad and it's an ionic brush. I'd say the barrel's about an inch and a half wide. And then the other one is a brush by Helium, and this looks to be about two inches. This one I'm going to use around the front hairs because I really want to pull and get those straight. The bristles are tightly packed as opposed to this one, which has looser bristles for more the back and the top of the crown. Of course, I have my gold standard, my Elchem hair dryer, super high heat, super fast. Let's go. At first, I just blow side to side just to get some volume. And I'm going to start straightening the front. This is where I have the most frizz. So I work on the front and work my way back. And I'm going to start with that helium brush to really be able to pull it and get it smooth. So as you can see, to get it flat and not bumpy, I'm grabbing the hair from the top and then I'm kind of going under like so. So it's grabbing from the top, pulling it forward and going under. So 
So on this side, it's a combination of doing what I just did, kind of rolling it under and back, and then going from the top down. Where my hair parts or where I want it to part, I'll kick a little bit of height here with this brush and then pull it forward, not back. The sides are going straight down. I don't, I don't want the bubble, so I'm, I'm going under, but then I'm following with the blow dryer all the way down to the very end. This top layer I want to be really smooth and straight. I will use this brush and then I will work my way to the back with the smaller brush. So I'm doing a combination right back here. I'm pulling it more to the side and then farther in the back. That one's gonna be the overlay piece in the back. So it's gonna have this opportunity to kind of brush forward or brush back. Okay, so now for the rest of it, I'm going to just use the blow dryer to flatten this part out and then the smaller brush to get a little bit of lift here in the back. So as you can see with the nape of the neck, you want to push all of that forward and then with the brush, this is where you're giving it some volume so that it, it's not totally flat against your head but actually has a little bit of a, a, a poof for some height and for some volume. And we're almost done. Then I pop it on cool. All right, let's see what we have. So first of all, I'm sure you can see what the Finola shampoo did. It immediately cut the yellow out of the hair, really sort of beiged it up, gave it a nice kind of ashy color, and I'm not as goldy yellow as I was, and I prefer this, so I think this looks really good. So let me fully turn around and you can see what's going on. So right now, this is more of the bob mode, right? Got the long hair, everything's straight. Here's where we get to have fun and really play around with the ability to create some height and different um, shapes with the hairstyle. So you know those tiny little clips? itty bitty ones. Here's what I do. After the blow dry, I take a large section of the front and I'm just going to warm it up real quick with the hair dryer. And now I'm going to take this and since my hair is going to fall this way, I'm going to pull it in the other direction like so and I'm going to secure it with this little clip. Loosely so, not tight. See how it's got that little bit of a, a bump? And then I'm gonna take the Kenra Volume 25. And I'm just gonna hit the front with hairspray. Just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. That's it. 
So it's got still the heat from the hair dryer and the hairspray and now I'm just going to let it cool like this and this is a great opportunity if you haven't applied your makeup yet or you need to do a touch up or you need to put on some clothes that's usually what I do at this point while this is cooling in the other direction so I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and then I'll be right back okay so a few minutes have gone by and things have cooled off I'm going to finish it up with my Garnier Fructis Pure Clean uh, Pomade it's a paste that I use and it is a little white cream and what I do is I just take this little clip out and this is the direction see how I instantly got all that lift right there just from letting it cool with the hairspray so now I'm gonna grab just I don't know we like a dime size amount of the pomade I don't need that much warm it and separate great for controlling frizz and just for giving it a nice smooth look and this is where you can decide how you want to style your hair I mean for me a lot of times it's the ear tuck or it can be all back but um, anyway I you know you guys asked me a lot I think it was the PJs and loungewear video where I had this style and I had created a lot of lift at the root and you were saying how do you do that how do you get so much volume there and all of that and I like to do it without using too much product because then it's not weighing your hair down and you're not having to wash as frequently I try to go if I can three maybe even four days between shampoo maybe maybe so anyway once you've got it where you want it I just kind of grab it and hit it Pull that down you can even take you know depending on your highlights you can grab a piece and pull that forward if you want to showcase the color a little bit um, I like to kind of pull this part back so just spray it kind of pull it this can come forward a little pop out some volume here make sure you pull it back one never knows what's going on back here right just kind of hit it there we go super simpy <laughs> super simpy <laughs> it's a super simpy blowout and not a lot of product used and everything is really good and nourishing for the hair so I really hope you've found this to be a helpful tutorial for getting volume at the root and what kind of brushes to use for a blowout and most importantly boy it's the combination of not only the right pr product but but really the right blow dryer I, I can't speak enough about how important the right blow dryer is I have been using Elchem blow dryers for Ever. I can't seem to find anything better I know a lot of you love the Dyson it's a personal choice again high heat high speed to get it done secondly brush technique you know I've used inexpensive brushes I've used expensive brushes it's really knowing the right barrel size for your hair how to smooth I have problem hair everybody thinks that I've got this great thick hair I don't I have fine hair that's kinky frizzy and reacts horribly to the humidity so I probably out of necessity have learned how to work with my hair which is why I got good technique because I had to I wasn't blessed with easy hair so I'm forced to figure out how to make it sleek and smooth but really it's the right angle in the blow dry it's how you pull it forward um, I think probably the best video in describing that is um, how to blow out side sweat bangs that I did and I'll provide a link to that as well because it really enforces that technique of getting a nice flat look around the front instead of the bang bump and so what I'm trying to help you avoid is those little round bumps that that can make us look older than we really are it's about sleek if you want volume 
put your volume right up front at the root and then sleek everything else down. So hope this was helpful. You guys have been asking for a hair tutorial for a really long time and I feel like it's been a really long time since I've obliged. So I'm glad to be able to do that for you. Anything else that you're looking forward to in the new year, please lay it out in the comment section below as we continue to communicate and follow each other on social media. Of course, I'm there all the time during the week. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please wait no longer. Subscribe, enable all notifications, and share me with your friends and family so that we can continue to grow this community and you can continue to spoon feed me fabulous ideas for content so that I never run out. Um, if you have not had a chance to pre-order my book yet, Life Makeover, Embrace the Bold, Beautiful, and Blessed You, so excited. It will be out April 5th of 2022. It's, it's coming. It's it's, it'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. So I'm really excited. You can pre-order. I'll provide a link to that as well. Um, so many neat things on the horizon. And I thank you just for blessing me for being able to do all of these things and to be a creator, both in terms of video and print and all of that. It, it really lights the fire. So thank you. Go out, be bold and blessed with your hair technique, and I'll see you next Thursday at one. Bye.